So these women have compiled a list. These oh women have compiled God. a long, detailed list of places that they don't want to go on a first date. Fellas, if you meet a woman that's like this, run. It's an influx of entitled women that are taking over the dating market. And I'm here with a PSA to all the entitled women. You might as well get ready to be single for a very long time. <laughs> What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get right into it. So there is an influx of entitled women that are going around teaching other women how to be entitled just like them. We're going to look at two different videos of different entitled women and then we're going to talk about it. Let's roll the first clip. To all of my ladies in the dating pool, let me show you how to redirect your way out of a low budget experience. Okay, this is a potential suitor. He has no number saved because period. Y'all already know how I roll. What? Good morning. It was great speaking with you last night. I woke up so refreshed. I would love to take you to coffee this week. Does Wednesday work? Okay. You cannot take me to coffee or tea on the first date. It's not equitable for me. I don't drink coffee and my perfume costs too much. So don't play. All right. So. <laughs> I hail from corporate America. We're going to use the sandwich effect here. Six years in the C-suite. We about to use this. Okay, boom. So I say, good morning. It was great speaking with you also. It's actually restaurant week coming up. Here's the link. Let me know which one you decide. I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to start off with something good. Okay, it was great speaking with you also. So this woman is basically <laughs> teaching women how to finesse men out of low budget. So notice there's going to be a pattern here and I want you to remember what this first lady said and compare it to what the second lady said. Notice what the first lady said. She said, good morning. It was great speaking with you also. It's actually restaurant week coming up. Here's the link. Let me know which one you decide. I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to start off with something good. Okay. It was great speaking with you also. If you're ever dealing with a woman and she suggests another place, don't even acknowledge it and just ask, will you, I'm meeting you at five. I'll give you an example of how this is supposed to go. You're talking or texting with a woman and the woman says, hey, that sounds nice, but I prefer dinner time. Don't even acknowledge her text and say, so I'm going to be meeting you at five on Friday. See you then. Don't even acknowledge the fact that she suggested another day. What she wants you to do is she wants you to, she wants you to be baited by that statement. Well, I like dinner dates. I like when a woman says that, number one, it's a test. Number two, she doesn't really like it. Because if she really liked you, she would respect the fact that you're a man taking charge not trying to suggest a date based on her preference the whole reason why a woman wants to suggest another date is because she is expecting you to pay and by flipping it back on her that allows you to see two things one type of woman is in and again further solidifying she doesn't like it let's roll the second coin so one of my rules is I don't do coffee or drink dates. Now, I understand that some women like this or prefer this because it's a quick turnaround, 30 to 45 minutes. If you don't like him, you can get out of there. It works for some people. If you like it, I love it. This video is not for you, keep scrolling. However, for me, as for me and my household, we're going to have higher standards. <laughs> that is not correct. Because according to the encyclopedia of I'm talking to this guy and I'm gonna read it to you because we've been talking for a couple days and he started talking about meeting up so he said we should get together over some pear and lychee cocktails soon and I said that's really sweet but I prefer dinner I like to get dressed up now I always try to say it nicely because I don't want to be like I don't accept drink dates like you don't have to be mean you don't have to be you can you can be nice about it but let's just say I prefer dinner because I like to get dressed up and he said, I see, what type of places do you have in mind? So I sent him a list of places that I've been like wanting to try 
all sorts of different budgets okay it ranges from like medium to a little bit higher all different locations around the city so he can choose like what works for him you know timing and budget wise so i sent the list of places he says these places sound really nice i think it'll be fun to get to know each other over some nicer dining options here it comes though but i wanted to let you know up front that if we were to meet at one of those places i'm comfortable splitting the check I usually will do drinks or something on the simpler end for the first meetup to see if there's a connection first. So my thing is... Notice what this woman said in the second clip. She didn't want to be mean, but she said, oh, that's sweet. I prefer places to go where I can dress up. So she's trying to, again, bait and switch and get you to pay for another day that you never agreed to again you're taking her out she's not taking you out but again if she wants to do that you can again flip it on her all right so you suggested this place so you're paying right again that will cancel that immediately man you need to learn how to realize when a woman is financing you and trying to get you to pay for a date that you didn't agree to because what a simp will do is a simp will say okay this woman's being nice She's suggesting a different place to go. I'm going to go for that day because she really likes it and I want to impress her. But at the end of the day, all she's going to do is dine and dash. She's going to dine and then leave after the date and go with another man who's not like it. And you don't want to go out with entitled women anyway. You don't want to go out with an entitled woman in the first place. So if a woman is acting like this, you can just cancel it off the rip and not even have to worry about it. The mistake that a lot of men make is that they get with women and then they start acting entitled and then they go on a date. Stop it. Get some help. Even before Facebook, women were entitled. Women were finessing men. We just didn't have social media to make a recording of. And I'm going to tell the guys this. Run from these women. Like Forrest Gump. Run, Forrest, run. These entitled women are big, giant waste of time. Like, we all know what happened with the oyster lady. We all know what happened with the cheesecake factory lady. Two entitled women that thought they were worthy of more than what they got. And now, more entitled women are ruining the dating market. Be a man. Stand your ground. Don't allow these entitled women to get one over on you and pull the wool over your eyes and have you paying for a date that you didn't agree to. Don't be a beta, don't be an incel, and definitely don't be a simp. Don't allow them to take advantage of you. Don't allow them to play you, to punk you, to make you think that you're broke just because you don't want to take them where they want you to take them. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.